All right, Doug Peterson here, my old coach. Uh, I know I'm excited, and I'm not surprised. I mean, I w when there's a young team and a rebuild starts, you think the time, the, you know, the clock might be a little bit longer on getting things going in the direction that you needed to go. But Dougie P got these boys rolling. They 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 reeled <laughs> off a bunch of wins straight. Uh, coach, how you doing? Hey, Chris, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me on today. And, you know, um, I, I'll just take you back real quick when I took this job and then back in February, almost a year ago, you know, looking at the roster and looking at the team, you know, in, in the bottom, I guess in the back of your mind, you thought you would be in this situation, maybe competing, you know, in your division and everything. But, you know, we had that five game skid there in the month of October that, that wasn't good. Yeah. And, um, you know, you're sitting there at two and six, and then you're sitting there at three and seven, and you're thinking, you know, your season's about done. But I'll tell you this. I mean, it's much like you, you remember our days in, in Philly, we won that championship. You know, the guys just rallied around each other and and uh, just kind of picked each other up. And that's that's what I've seen here in the last month and a half, seven, eight ball games, you know, and and uh, we've been able to pull out some some really good, you know, some good wins and, and put us uh, put ourselves in a position for this wild card game. Well, yeah, I mean, and in October, they were all one score games, which I mean, you don't take any consolation, You're not like, hey, guys, we're close, but. You know that that's the reality. It's that it's that close, and a five game skid could be a five game winning streak. And y'all found a way to win these games. We were just talking before you, we we turned it on. Like Saturday night was all about finding a way to win, being creative. What's it like playing a Mike Vrabel team that you know is scrappy? No matter who's the quarterback, no matter who's hurt, they find a way to muddy it up. How do you get your guys prepared for that game Saturday? You know, and that you just you just hit the nail on the head. I mean, you play a Mike Vrabel team. One, they're going to be they're going to be well coached. They're going to be well disciplined, and they're going to be physical. You know, yeah. he, he's a former defensive guy. You know, and he's going to have those guys charged up and riled up, and and they were, and, yeah. and rightfully so, because they were playing for the same things that we were playing for: win and you know, win and you're in. And you know, so I was I was talking to my team about the same thing. This is this is what you can expect, and and I thought our guys you know handled that extremely well. The offense wasn't quite as sharp as we'd like to be. And we got some things to clean up this week, but I thought defensively, you know, kept us in that football game, some key turnovers uh, or some, I should say some takeaways, you know, the, the, obviously the biggest one was the, the Josh Allen scoop and scoop and score on the fumble, um, you know, late in the fourth quarter. But um, when you're playing a Tennessee team like that, I mean, that, that's what it's going to take. It's not going to be high scoring. Uh, it's going to be physical. And uh, it's the one who can, who can outlast, uh, I think at the end it's going to win. Yeah, um, you know, you're going into the playoffs, you're playing the Chargers, and, you know, you guys beat them 38-10. to 10, But I, I was looking at that score, and I was thinking back to 2018. Remember, we played the Saints, and they kicked our asses in New Orleans, and then we went, went up and played them in the playoffs, and we got after them for a while. Some things didn't go our way. Uh, we lost that playoff game. But I wonder if – if that makes sense, when you think about a parallel, it's like guys, like a hundred days ago is a hundred days ago. Like things change. This is going to be a battle. And what playoff advice do you give guys? Because a lot of your, your your dudes have never been there, and they're younger. There were a lot of young guys on our Philly team. Um, but what kind of playoff advice do you give to these guys? Yeah, you're you're exactly right, Chris. I mean, you know, that's a long time ago that we played these guys and. Uh, they're a different football team. There's a few new faces on their roster. We have a few new faces, you know, this late in the season, obviously. And I'll say this, that, you know, you know, the, the chargers have been in this situation before they've coach Staley has, has had these guys prepared the last couple of seasons. And uh, you know, they got a quarterback with some experience down the stretch here. And, and uh, you know, I've got, I've got a bunch of young guys, but sometimes some, sometimes Chris, what our guys don't know, they don't know. And, and that can be a positive, you know, and, and they just go out and play and play hard and play with one another. And, you know, it's my job to make sure that there is a sense of urgency with this group, you know, that there's an attention to detail as we practice and as we, uh, we prepare, they got to take care of their bodies. Obviously they got to take care of the little things on and off the football field. And those are just reminders that I can give this team. And, and, and honestly, we have a couple of guys you know, we have a Darius Williams on our roster who won a championship with the Rams. Oh, so, yeah, he had a hell of a know, role there. Yeah, and so I can I can lean on him this week, and I will, and and uh, get those guys to maybe talk to the team like we did in, uh, you know, in Philly, and and uh, just put a little perspective on on where we are and what we can accomplish. Your veteran leaders, I know that there's maybe not as many, but who are those guys on your team? 
you know, you look at Roy Robertson, uh, Harris on defense. Yeah. You look at Brandon Sheriff on offense. That's right. Um, you know, I look at, um, you know, Tyler Shatley is a, is a guard for us. Been here nine years. You know, Rayshon Jenkins has been here a couple of seasons now. Um, you know, and, and Josh Allen has been, has been here, our outside linebacker. And, you know, I, I Foye Olakun has only been here a year, but he's got some experience in this league. And, but, but yet you know, these guys, these are the ones I'm going to have to you know lean on. And even though they maybe haven't been to the postseason or, or maybe with other teams, they've been there. Um, they're the ones that I have to count on to, to really inspire the rest of the group and, and um, you know, get them going for the week. And Josh Allen has played some really good ball when it's counted. That guy has been clutch. I texted yeah. you earlier this season about him. I love his game. How important has it been, you know, to see after you guys lost to Denver, Trevor said, hey, enough is enough. And it was almost like he said it. And, and that's what it was. Um, what has changed for Trevor and how excited have you been watching his maturation and that process with him? Yeah. You know what? He's, he's really, that, that game bothered him and, and it bothered, I think our, our team um, at the time, you know, we felt like we were in a good position, probably had a chance to win that game, but yeah. you know, we didn't. And, and, you know, it bothered, it, it bothered me, obviously, you know, the, the, the trip back and I know it bothered our quarterback and he, he took it to heart because he came out the next week and, and I believe we had the Raiders at home the next week and we got down 17 to nothing in that football game thinking that, okay, this might be the, the, the real turning point to our season. Yeah. Like this might be the end, but you know, he, he, he led us back and, and put the team on his back and we can, you know, continue to trust each other. And, you know, we, we got the victory at that, at that point. And that kind of, kind of turned our season a little bit, you know, at that, at that particular time. But you know, it's the way he's really embraced it. Um, you know, he's put a lot more on on his plate from the standpoint of preparation and just leading our guys. And and um, it's really good to see from a young player, only a second year player, who, you know, in my opinion, has had almost a wealth of NFL experience in two years with everything he went through last year and, and of course this year. But great, he's in a great place. It's fun to watch him, and uh, he's still learning and growing. Last question. Uh, it's a two-parter. I know you got to get to practice. Number one, who is your ice cream guy? Who likes haagen more than anybody? I used to cut the line. I used to stand next to the door. He used to call me out. You'd be at the I know, front. I know. Talk, he'd be talking to the team Saturday night. He'd be like, see, long, I see you there by the door. But Ken Flagel was right next to me. He was trying to race me to the haagen Who's your haagen fanatic uh, th- this year? I tell you what, uh, C.J. Beathard, our backup quarterback, might uh, might be the one that gets gets the line, uh, right, gets good. the line early, and good. then obviously our GM Trent Balky. Trent Balky is another one that likes to cut the line with that ice cream. Good. So good those man. two guys, they they beat me, they beat me to the punch. Good man. And then last one, I, I you guys got you know we used to bust your balls and ask, hey, what are we wearing this weekend, coach? Are we wearing green? Are we wearing you know whatever it was? Uh, what color unis are we wearing this weekend? We're I want to put a, a a bid in. A, a, a vote in on all black. You guys just look so damn good in all black. What's it going to be this weekend, Coach? It might be the uh, it might be the teal jerseys with the white pants. Ooh. Which uh, I really I really like our teal at home. It's a yeah. great. Uh, it was a great atmosphere last Saturday night with all the towels and yeah. you know everything in the stadium. So yeah, um, yeah. teal right. teal jerseys, white pants look pretty sweet. Out of baby, we'll go get them, Coach. Man, you're doing great, and I'm so proud of you, man. We're all 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 us former Eagles are texting about it. We're like, look at our guy, and uh, and the lettuce looks great in that climate, man. Like that right yeah, there, moisturized the whole thing. Yeah, so the humidity down here in does, Florida, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Doug. Well, good luck this weekend, man. It's great to see you. Hey, good to see you too. Appreciate it. Thanks, all right, brother. Listen to the full podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other podcast streaming platforms. Uh, Wherever you want to get the podcast, you can get the podcast. Pretty simple. New episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Podcasts get pretty wild. This is real tame.